Hello everyone. Welcome to Kvision Engineering YouTube channel. So uh, it's been a uh, long holiday because I was very busy. So this uh, last week, so that's why I cannot uh, make a video soon. So, uh, okay. So today I took a new lessons for you, which is AG chapter 22 out of life system. So uh, if you still not subscribe my YouTube channel, please subscribe my YouTube channel and share these videos with your friends who love to learn about uh, aircraft maintenance and if you are a newcomer to this video i mean my channel so i'm keshara vikram singh i'm a professional aircraft maintenance technician all right so no need to talk a lot so we will go to the lesson all right so today i'm going to teach you ata chapter 22 auto flight system general lesson number three so fmgc it means flight management and guardians computer all right Okay, through this lesson, you will learn basic functions and interfaces of the flight management computer, all right? Okay, so you can see here, uh, here are the controls, MCDU, flight control unit, management, guardians part, flight plan, letter, vertical, autopilot, uh, flight director, auto thrust, and then the displays, MCDU, flight control unit display, and PFT displays, navigation displays, and ECAM displays, right? So I will talk about the, all the things in detail uh, in this lesson, all right? So the first one is controls, okay? You can see the MCDU, flight control unit, right? So the control is divided in two parts, MCDU and flight control unit, all right? So the flight management functions, flight management and guardians are uh, mainly controlled by the multi-purpose control and display unit, okay? Mainly controlled by multi-purpose and uh, multi-purpose control and display unit. Typical actions, typical actions are before departure on the multi-purpose control and display units, MCDUs, the pilot select the flight plan which will be followed later on the on by the aircraft. And in flight, on the flight control unit, FCU, flight control unit, this is on SCU, the pilot can engage the autopilot and can modify different flight parameters leading to an immediate change in the control of the aircraft, right? Okay, next one is MCDU. This is the MCDU, this is the real MCDU, you can see. Right, now we're going to MCDU, this part. So basically, the MCDU provide long-term interface between the crew and the FMGC. Remember, MCDU is the one who provide long-term interfaces between the crew and the FMGCs. The MCDU allows, for example, the introduction or the definition, the modification and display of flight plans and the display, the selection and the modification of the parameters associated with the flight management functions and the selection of specific functions, all right? Okay, next one is FCU. FCU means flight control unit. This is the flight control unit, you can see, right? Okay, so basically the flight control unit provide the short-term interfaces between the crew and the FMGC, right? Long-term will be provided by MCDU and the short-term is provided by uh, the FCU, flight control unit. The FCU allows, for example, the engagement of the autopilot, flight director and auto trust functions, and the selection of required guidance mode, example, heading hold, and the selection of various flight parameters, example, heading value, right? Okay, next flight management, and then we'll go to the flight management, okay? Uh, all right, this is the management part. So the flight management part mainly provide the flight plan selection with its lateral and vertical functions, all right? The flight management part provides navigation, performance optimization, radio navigation, turning and information display management, all right? So the data computed by the flight management part is occasionally used by the flight guardians part, all right? Okay, this is the uh, flight management computer in the Avian XP, right? All right. Next one, the flight plan. Let's go the under management. The, there are three, flight plan, lateral and vertical, right? Sorry. Now the flight plan. A flight plan contains the various elements and constraints of the route the aircraft must fly along from takeoff to landing. All right? A flight plan can be selected, built up, 
modified and monitored to the MCDU, right? Next one, the lateral, lateral part. In the following is the list of the main lateral functions, right? They are called persistent dissemination and if alignment through the MCDU and automatic or manual through MCDU, selection of VOR, DME, ILS, ADF, frequencies and guidance computations along the lateral flight plan. So a navigation database provides all necessary information to build a flight plan. However, pilots can enter other data using MCDU, right? Okay, next one, the vertical, vertical part. In the following is the list of the main vertical functions, all right? So optimized speed computation, the resulting target speed being used as a reference for guidance functions, all right? And the performance predictions, uh, predictions as time, fuel, altitude, wind at various point of the flight, and the guardian's computations along the vertical flight plan, all right? So a performance database provides necessary data. However, pilots have to enter other data using the MCDU, all right? Okay, now let's go to the guardian section. So the guardians, uh, this is the guardian's computer. So the flight guardians part provides the autopilot, okay? Flight guardians part provide the autopilot, flight directions, and auto thrust function. Remember, the guardians part provide uh, the autopilot, uh, flight direction, and auto thrust functions. These functions work according to modes, right? Generally choose the choose on the flight control unit, right? The normal way to operate the aircraft is to use the management part as a reference source for the guidance part. Okay, remember it. So under guidance, autopilot, these are flight controls, the autopilot functions calculates the signals for the flight controls in order to follow the selected modes, all right? So the autopilot AP control the pitch, roll, and yaw axis according to the selected modes. Example of autopilot mode, altitude, hold, all right? And the next one is flight director, okay? This is flight director. Flight director displays the guardian's command, right? Flight director displays in the displays, uh, the guardian's the commands on both primary flight display allowing the pilot to fly the aircraft manually according to the FMGC demands, all right? So the two cases have to be considered. Uh, first one is autopilot not engaged and autopilot engaged. So in autopilot not engaged situation, the flight director functions displays symbols on the primary flight display PFD, which gives order to the pilot to maintain the desired parameters. In this case, the pilot follow these orders by acting on the flight control. And in uh, autopilot engaged situations, the flight director functions display symbols on the PFD representing the autopilot orders to be monitored by the pilot, all right? And next one is auto thrust. Here is the auto thrust. The auto thrust functions calculate the signal necessary for engine control, right? The auto thrust functions calculate the signal necessary for engine controls in order to follow a given mode, right? So example on auto thrust mode uh, is acquisition and holding of speed or Mach number. All right. Now let's go to the displays, right? Displays. So the various displays are used to prevent auto flight system data and information. Here you can see the primary flight display and navigation display. So the main displays presenting flight management and guardian system information are first one, the multipurpose control, then display unit, MCDU in the display part, and the flight control unit, FCU, uh, the display part, and the primary flight display, navigation display, and engine uh, ECAM, engine warning display, WD, and ECAM status display, ECAM status page, all right? Okay, now first we'll go to the MCDUs, uh, MCDU display, right? This is the display area. So the MCDUs display all data are related to the management part, okay? And example identification of the successive waypoints of the flight plan. And next one is flight control unit display. So the flight control unit is also considered as a display. This one also we can consider as a display as it includes indication, lights and liquid crystal display windows, right? So the flight control unit includes light giving mode indications and crystal, liquid crystal display LCD windows showing reference parameters. Example, during climb with autopilot, the altitude window display the altitude uh, the aircraft is going to capture, right? Next one, the PFD primary flight display. The primary flight display is mainly displayed on the flight direction symbols and 
the status of guardians functions and their mode and it is also displayed reference parameters. Example, the target speed value is represented by a symbol on the speed scale of the PFD. And the next one, the navigation display is the navigation display. The navigation display is mainly displayed on the flight plan and various navigation mode. Okay. An example, airports or waypoints around the present positions of the aircraft. Okay. The last one is ECAM. ECAM engine warning display, WD page represents warning messages related to functions of computer failures. And the ECAM status page display the landing capabilities. Okay, this is the engine warning display. This is the SD system display, right? All right, so, okay. So now let's go to the question and answers. I will ask three questions from you and uh, I will give you a few minutes to think and just think what is the answer. All right, the first, uh, I will go into the first question. The flight guardians uh, functions are, the flight guardians functions are uh, A, autopilot flight director auto thrust and B, autopilot mods, C, guardians and uh, guardians along a flight plan. Okay, can you think what is the answer for this one? All right, so I will give you the answer. The answer is A, autopilot, flight director, auto thrust. All right, okay, let's go to the next question. Uh, aircraft position determination is computed by Right, aircraft position dissemination is computed by A, the guardians part of the FMGCs, and B, the management part of the FMGCs, C, the FCU. What should be the answer? Can you think? All right, the answer is answer B, right, the management part of the FMGCs, right? And the last question is the automatic selection of navigation frequencies is made by, right? The automatic selection of navigation frequencies is made by uh, A, the MCDU, and B, the guidance part of the FMGCs, and C, the management part of the FMGCs. What should be the answer? All right, so this is the answer. Answer is C, the management art of the FMGCS. All right. Okay, uh, that is the end of this lesson. Thank you for participating in this lesson. So this is the third lesson of AT Chapter 22, auto, auto Flight System. So the next lesson, you will going to learn about the autopiloting system in detail, right? So uh, again, thank you for the people who subscribe my channel. Now my channel uh, more than 500. So I think uh, more people will subscribe and it will uh, be it will it, it it will have more, thousand subscribers soon. So I'm really happy about this because uh, this is something I want to do. Uh, I want to give my knowledge to my friends, my peoples and also the people, uh, the students who want to learn about uh, aircraft maintenance. All right, so, uh, and also I want to tell if you still not subscribe to this channel, please subscribe this channel. It will be helpful for me uh, because I can grow this YouTube channel and anyone in the world, they can uh, learn about aircraft maintenance very easily. All right, so again, thank you very much uh, for uh, participating in this lesson and we will meet on next lesson. Have a good day for all of you.